Hello fellow artificers, and welcome back to the create mod. Now, in the create mod, we have an issue. A lot of stuff requires a lot of metal, specifically iron. And while last time we did learn how to make a quarry to get such a metal, what if we could get it fully automatically? That's what we're going to be looking at today. So, create introduces many new ways to manufacture things, like the millstone which can grind things into other things. And using this, combined with some classic Minecraft tricks, we can make a fully automatic iron farm. First, let's look at the theory. So, cobblestone can be milled into gravel, and then you can use Create's washing to wash gravel into iron nuggets. But how do we get fully automatic cobblestone? Or, well, any Skyblock player's friend? The cobblestone generator. So let's have a look. We have a cobblestone generator where this drill is constantly breaking the block. It's going onto this conveyor belt and then going into this millstone. The millstone is grinding it down into gravel, as we can see in just a second. Ta da! And then it's going to go over to this depot where this fan and water is going to wash it into an iron nugget. Now, when making anything in the create mod, or engineering anything really, it's important to remember that there is always more than one correct way to do something. There's about a million different ways that you can set up such an iron farm and create. And that's why we went over the basic idea behind it instead of showing you a specific example right away. For instance, let's look over here. I have three different ways that you can get items in and out of the millstone, and this isn't even every single way that you can create. Not to, not to mention that other mods will also add ways for you to take things in and out of the millstone. So if I throw some cobblestone in here, here, and here, after a few seconds of processing, we'll get gravel here, outside the chute, and outside the funnel. And the same thing goes for washing. You can wash items on multiple different surfaces. You can wash them on just regular blocks. You can wash them on depots, and you can wash them on conveyor belts. But this theory is all fine and good. What if we want lots of iron very quickly? Well, we just need to up the scale. This is one such way you can up the scale. First up, I've put multiple different cobblestone generators in parallel with one another. It's a little tricky because we have to tile it, and it's really hard to tile this stuff whenever you have to have access to all the sides. So what I've done is underneath the row of blocks, so you see the cobblestone is where it's going to be forming, I put the conveyor belt. That's because the conveyor belt has to go on the bottom because of how gravity pulls items down. And that means on the top, we can put our row of drills. And then on either side, we need our lava and water. Now, keep in mind that when you're placing your lava in your water, the water cannot be a source block. It has to be flowing water. Because just as a reminder, if you've got flow, if you've got a source block, the source block is going to start spreading out, even if, as you can see, there's a, yeah, there's a block underneath it. So the moment I break this block, Oh, we screwed up the cobblestone generator. So that's why it needs to be flowing water. And then you can tile this design linearly, or you can stack it on top of each other. So that's what I've done here. And in case you're curious, these blocks that are connecting these drills are encased chain drums. So the next step in the process is to mill it. Now, milling is, sim is very simple. I'm just having it all collect in a bunch of chutes and funnel into a millstone. Now, you don't actually need grinding wheels for this, because grinding wheels are kind of expensive and very taxing on your stress network. So you can just use a couple millstones. And the next step is going to be washing. Now, this step is very interesting, because while the millstone and the drills will produce faster the faster the rotation is going, the fans are different. As you can see, I've got a fan here, and you can see how far it's blowing because of the particles. 
if I give it a much higher speed, it's going to blow farther and move things quicker. The only caveat is it does not process things faster. So you can spin a fan at 2 RPM and it will process it will process things in uh, it will process washing, blasting and cooking at the same speed. So the idea is we want to use multiple fans. This specific setup I was in, uh, I found from a design on Reddit by Isleta, and here's the basic theory behind it. We basically have a waterlogged funnel down here, and what we can do is just put fans facing inward on all four sides. This gives us four fans that are washing it simultaneously, and specifically we need a brass funnel here, because that way we can put that way we can put a filter in there that says. We only want to take out that says we only want to take out flint and iron nuggets and this device here is a smart shoot this is allowing us to take one item out of the barrel because one item produces or one item manufactures faster than a whole stack of items hey everyone quick interruption but uh post-production jared here uh i'm realizing that i really didn't go into detail about how to set up the, the washing part which is honestly the Kind of most annoying part of this to set up because of timing the belts with the fans. So the design that I had found that I mentioned, uh, basically the idea is you start with your inventory or some other belt where it's going to go. And then you put a brass funnel on it and you want to make sure it's pointing downward. And now the reason why it needs to be brass is because brass funnels accept filters. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a list filter, specifically a list one because we don't need to use the attribute one and we want to give it an iron nugget or a piece of flint and now this is dependent on what your output is from your washing so if you're using this for other things you want to add you either want to add the outputs that you want or blacklist the inputs like gravel and sand or whatever once you have your filter all set up you can right click the square here and put it on and then to make the uh, the one with four fans over there, what we're first going to do is, it's going to get a little messy, but we're going to waterlog the funnel. And then we're going to take our encased fans and shift right click to place them down. So that way, if you see the arrow, they're all facing inward. There we are. And then we're going to take, it doesn't have to be a smart shoot, but if you want to, uh, you can also use a, um, instead of a smart shoot, if you want to be conservative on resources, it could also be a funnel. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some kind of inventory, uh, a block above the water, have a way of getting it out, and then to connect all these up, um, th it was designed like this, where you take some case drives like this, where it's one out from the fan and then two up. And this is nice because it's now the correct size for large cog wheels to fit together. So that way they can all spin one another. And you don't have to worry about the direction of rotation for the fans because they can both push and pull. And since the water is waterlogging the whole area, it doesn't matter if it's pushing or pulling. And then all you got to do is give it some rotation. And now you can throw your gravel in the top. And keep in mind that the speed of the fans isn't, uh, doesn't have to be that high. In fact, you could honestly keep it at 2 RPM to make sure you're not uh, wasting any of your stress units. So yeah, that's how to set up this little um, design that I found for the fan, and back to the main video. And so, in this model, we can put our gravel in, and it goes in and sits right on top. And after a few seconds of processing, it will be done. But the reason why we need a brass funnel is for that filter. Without the filter, the gravel would have just gone into here. This is the idea behind this mechanism here. We just have four fans all processing at the same time. Once it has processed the gravel into nuggets and flint, 
Our filtered funnel takes it and puts it into any kind of storage. For this instance, I'm just using an item bulb. And as you can see, it's been slowly producing iron nugget. Once again, keep in mind that this setup could look completely different for you in what you have available. You might have limited resources available, so you have to make it smaller. You might have better ways to design it, so you will just design it differently. You might have other mods that allow you to make a different type of iron farm. And that's the big idea with stuff like engineering, is there's never one correct way to solve a problem. There's millions of different correct ways. Some ways might be more efficient or more cost effective than others, but there's never one correct way. And that's why I encourage you to innovate. Come up with new strategies, new designs that suit your needs or produce things faster. After all, you guys are the artificers. I hope this helped you out, and I will see you later.